Hi everyone, so uh, this is uh, the latest design I've been working on and it's taken me about a whole week to uh, get to the bottom of it. <laughs> so I've got a t-shirt finally. Um, so it's a top-down brown yoke, it's seamless. Um, it's inspired by my previous design of uh, mittens. If you remember the daydream mittens, they're amazing. Uh, they come in four sizes, from toddler to child to teen to adult or something like that, or adult to large, I don't even know. Um, maybe there's four sizes or five, I don't know. Um, so um, what happened is it's a variation of the Daydream original design that I have cardigans, sweaters, I don't know, dresses <laughs> made with um, children as well as women's designs. And what happened was, um, this is a more dainty kind of design. Uh, it's got the smaller stitches throughout, while the original ones has uh, bigger stitches like double crochets, more more kinds of double crochets. So I've got some in the shells here, but um, the original one had rows of just double crochet. This one doesn't. So um, what I've done is I chose my favorite two-ply yarn and decided to go with it and see what happens. So far so good. Um, it will come in the normal sizes from, I don't know, 36 or 38 inches bust to 48, 50, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I've made mine. Um, it's working. It's very nice, warm, cozy. Um, and the detail is amazing. It's like, um, I don't even know what to think to call it probably lace or brocade or I don't know it's like so so detailed um, I don't know if it's my favorite design so far but it's a very kind of like it just feels like intimate or like I know you or you're worth something I don't know this is what comes to my head right now a uh, very royal um, I would say which I don't know, probably doesn't make any sense to you, but uh, to me it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a blast from the past or something. Um, and I couldn't put it down because even though it's got a three row repeat, um, and uh, obviously it took forever, it, a whole week to just get a t-shirt out of this. Um, so it's two ply, 3.5 millimeter hook, uh, but it's got like... Um, what's the word fuzzy finish so hopefully it will come out really well in the photography um, it's got a sheen in the video as I can see it oh, it's funny that's so cool um, the yarn has a sheen but I didn't think it will come out on the camera looks really nice it's kind of like wearing scales again it's the same yarn I used for the other previous um, to ply design so yeah it does have a shine to it um, the neckline is just my favorite back loop slip stitch and I had to kind of uh, make it a bit thicker um, I mean wider like that um, just because I wanted it to kind of gather more or to look more substantial I usually have a five stitch width but this one has about eight or something like that so yeah I like it so far so good um has lots of shells there's shells over shells and trinity stitch and back loop uh single crochet i'm not going to add an edging to it it will just be like that it's a very nice light pretty fabric very feminine i don't know how else to describe it i would say royal is the only word that comes to mind at the moment um so attention to detail this is it it's just attention to detail it's just detail after detail um, and there's loads of it it will just feel like I don't know your decorator or something like that <laughs> so uh, hopefully you'll see it better or even better in the photography um, there's all these little cute ridges here so um, just to make the shell stick out and it doesn't look boring because sometimes if you work with shells and you're not making it stick out it will just come out 
you know, like whatever. Um, but this is lovely. So I just wanted to show you um, what it looks like as a t-shirt. I'm not adding any edging or anything. It'll just be, you know, like this gorgeous fabric. <laughs> Um, with no distractions, I'm not distracted from this design. Uh, so there'll be like normal ribbing on the cuffs. Uh, it'll be a straight cuff, so nothing too special. No decreases probably because it's too ply and it's not needed. And that's about it. It's just a labor of love, I'm telling you. <laughs> I could not put it down, but I didn't finish it until now. So it's just a t-shirt on me now and it took me like a whole week. So that's the downsize of this design. Um, but I couldn't not have it. <laughs> so now I'm thinking perhaps I could make myself a dress with no sleeves because that will take an eternity and it will eat the yarn. And I've only got one cone of this in kind of like a lilac. You've seen it before. So I bought a new cone out of the blue. Um, so I would love this without the ribbing here, without the sleeves and just dress. Yeah, so that's my next wish. So I don't know if I'm gonna do anything in December just because I have a date. And I do want to see that dress on me. Um, but yeah, this should be published. It will be published. Uh, I don't know what the date is. End of November. So um, I don't know if I can finish it. Uh, probably, I probably need another week or so. So early December, you'll have this available in my shop. And I'll probably show you again with sleeves. So you can see the whole thing. Um, and that would be that. But for now, I'm just daydreaming of a dress made with this. So yeah, I hope you'll like it. I don't know if you see it very well. Um, it's just a lot of shells, but they stick out. And you can see them from the sides as well. My goodness. Yeah, that's beautiful. And, um, yeah, it's just a lot of work. It's two ply, obviously, so. But it feels like you know, second skin and very decorative, very cute. Right, I'll show it to you next time with sleeves and uh, hopefully it'll be published by then as well. See you soon!